and welcome back to EverQuest. We are about to start the Plane of Sky. So we are in the Guild Hall, which was added in one of the later expansions after Planes of Power. I think it was Omens of War or Gates of Discord, but it has a nifty little thing. Where, so we need these Cloudy Stones of Venetian. Yeah, Venetian to use the guild teleporter. So instead of me having to manually teleport every single group there, I can just give this dude one stone. And the portal now will teleport everybody to the plane of sky. So this is pretty nifty. This is not something on P99, but it is... Uh, something. So let's go ahead and do yes. And everybody should click yes. We'll just have to pick up the stragglers who do not make it. Now as I have uh, stated in the very first episode, I am not going to bother with keys. So I will give them all the keys because the tediousness of, of this is quite tedious, so I have, what, so yeah, the gene characters in there, so everybody made it. So, let's see. So, you have to kill all of these fairies, and each of these fairies drops a item. I think it's like a rabbit's foot, I think. I can't remember. But, you turn that rabbit's foot in to a guy who spawns named Surin, and that'll give you the key for the next level. So, yeah, <laughs> that is, it's, it's extremely tedious. We're at, we have 36, yeah, 36 characters. So, as you can imagine, the tediousness of that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to buff up, and we're going to clear the first level. So I'll be back once we have mana, and we're all buffed up. All right, so I think everybody's buffed up, and I've given everybody the Key of Swords which is the key for the first first level, I believe. <laughs> I hope anyway, it took a little while. But we're gonna go ahead and clear, and I'll do it once on uh, my main character to uh, show that process. But we're gonna go ahead and start pulling everything. These, uh, the first, the first, uh, first island's pretty easy. Nothing uh, really assists, so you can kind of just kill it pretty quick. Let's go to uh, Warrior. So yeah, there's two two items you get here. You get uh, this ear thing and the uh, your sword. Yeah, there's your sword becomes the key of swords. So, go ahead and clear all of this, uh, this level. And I'll turn that in on him. But typically, you, you loot one of each of those on this first island. And then you turn them in to the uh, halfling. Oh, God. Halfling that spawns. I did not know they feared. Does she not have? Yeah, she has much to resist. Alright, let's get the next one. And let's turn Mez off. Oh, oh gosh. I didn't mean to send them there. Can I get them to move back? Did I accidentally click up to the next island? Alright. So leave her, go for this one. Yeah, this zone is uh, like the, the end zone pretty much for uh, for classic. It's uh it's hard. I don't think it can actually be beaten in pure classic. I know in progression servers they do this weird uh thing where they use Lots and lots of pets. 
because you cannot tank the, uh, the final bosses with the current gear level. That might be different now. I was I used to watch a few uh, progression videos on uh, on this, and I think when I played on uh, Agnar, the guild I was in never got past uh, this. Uh, what, what island is it? The one with the uh, the birds. Uh, Spirok, I think it's six. I guess seven is the... Ah, uh... oh, which one is seven? I can look real quick. Uh, six. Eight is that one. Sphinx. Yeah, five. Island five, yeah. So I don't think they ever got past that. In uh, classic. Maybe even Kuna. So, it was quite difficult. As you start getting the further you get up, everything starts death touching. <laughs> like uh, the final boss death touches the uh, the island five boss death touches uh, seven. So yeah, when everything starts death touching, you need lots of tanks, and it's kind of hard to get a lot of tanks sometimes. A warrior is, oh my god. Warrior is not exactly the most uh, enthralling class to play. Is somebody still here? No one got kicked off. Yeah. Alright, go back to him. And I think we got one more. And then we spawn a. Once you kill everything on the island, a boss will spawn. And then you kill the boss. And then it'll spawn Surin. But you might be able to just kill her directly. Island one's a little different than the rest. Yeah, come on. One, two, go. You don't want to attack the Keymaster either. He will mess you up. Let's make sure we got everything. Uh, I don't see any more around here. Alright. Let's go ahead and met up. Alright. Oh. Alright, let's pull the boss. The Thunder Spirit Princess. And she is a yellow to a level 50, so she's a little bit harder. But she shouldn't be too much harder as long as she doesn't fear me. No one's assisting because I messed up and I did not reload after giving them the other key. Alright, come on, go, 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 go. I was trying to give them the second key while I was waiting for everything to reload and head up. Alright, looks like, yep, there we go. And now, oh, bracelet of cessation. Oh wow, that's a nice bracelet for a necromancer. Uh, I do have one necromancer. Let's see here. Where'd the corpse go? So, yeah. Let's go ahead and give that on... Do that one. Yeah, wow, that's 65 mana. Alright, so... There's the halfling that spawned, so we're gonna go ahead and turn this up then. We'll just do it on this guy. Uh, see what happens. So, we're gonna give in the... What is this? The lost rabbit foot. Which gives us the... Key of the misplaced. And then we're gonna turn in the miniature sword also. Uh, we already had that, which gave us the key, oh, gave us the key of swords. Alright. 
So then we can go up to Island 2. Where is Island 2 is this one. So we can go ahead and just click it. And it takes us up here. These things are aggressive, I believe, yeah. So I'm going to get everybody up here. It might take, <laughs> take a little bit for whoever didn't get the key, but I'll be back. Oh, all right, so we got everybody up. Took a little extra time, but I had to rewrite the script I was using to give everybody keys. So let's go ahead and start pulling these. Hopefully this is a pretty easy clear. Not much to this island, I believe. I don't think these ones are difficult. Uh, yeah, we might want to off tank this one. Okay. Let's go in Saru. And then... Brook on that one, and Mez off. So this island drops the broken mirrors, which is the same as the item we saw on the last island, uh, the miniature sword and the rabbit foot. And so we got some bunch of junk here. There's quests you can do in the stone also. Uh, I've, I've never actually done any of them. It's mostly gear becomes kind of obsolete, except for these haste belts you can pick up around uh, Kunark levels. So you can get Saru on that one. But I'll just give them the key for the next level instead of having to turn that in. I got my script fixed. And you can see Kunark level spells do drop here. Yeah, so we're gonna just keep pulling. Ah, we are. What is this? You got, uh, we might, oh, we're good. we're dead. <laughs> Jeez. Uh, let's go ahead and grab that. Yeah, she's dead. I should have uh, been big death, but I totally forgot about this ability. All right, so we're gonna have to. We're stunned also. So, let's see. Who? Does she consent anybody? I'm not sure why that's auto. Oh, it's supposed to be auto consenting. So, let's go ahead and uh, corpse drag. Put it right there. Uh. Oh, I don't have a corpse drop on this one. Uh, corpse drop, I think. Oh, damn it. Uh, just res it. Where's my main character? Sola. And res it. There we go. And let's get back to a tight group. All right, so I'm gonna res her up and I'll be right back. All right, we're back. <laughs> Took a little while. Met up, res her and everything. But uh, yeah, we're just gonna finish off the rest of these. Then we'll kill the boss in the middle. Here. Just make sure we're inside of camp. So these discs are all used for quest items. Or for, yeah, for the quests. So, alright, there's the protector of Sky. We were gonna pull him with the tank. Go ahead and get him up here. Let's go and provoke him. Bring him down here. He is red, so he, whoa, jeez. All right, let's get everybody on him. Probably should, what do I got, Whirlwind, Bolt. So, who's tanking him? Emily? 
Alright, okay, Paladin's tanky. Now I'm back on. Alright. Darkstone Emerald. Not sure what that's for. Where is the port teleporter? On the other side. Okay. So let's go ahead and grab... Oh, Belt of Virtue. I didn't even see that drop. Alright, let's grab a broken mirror. And... Where's this one? I'll show this one. I believe it's the Key of Misfortune. So we go up to uh, Surin the Lunatic. Give him the broken mirror. And we get the Key of Misfortune, which is the next key. And you would do that for every single character. Alright, so I'm gonna check Belt of Virtue real quick. Uh, Emily, where is she? Where did I put her? There she is. Um, let's see. Why can't I move? Follow off. Just double check that. And cool. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to see it. I don't think it's better, I think. Yeah, I don't think it's better than the like, banded belt. It's a lower end haste item, but I can't find it. Uh, broken mirror. Broken mirror. Belt of virtue. Corpse ID 18. Oh, it already despawned. Alright. Let's go ahead and follow. Let's go over to the next one. Right here. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and get everybody up. Might have to run the script a few times, give them the keys, but I'll get them up. Alright, we are on island 3 now. Uh, it's a fairly safe zone in area, so we're just gonna move down here. Nothing seems to be aggressive. But we're gonna do it like right oh, don't jump off the edge, you fools. To me. Alright. So as we go higher and higher, everything is gonna start getting harder and harder, so. Let's go ahead and pull this. I'll get everybody killed this thing. And we are still using superior healing as our main healer. Uh, I have not found a reason to switch to complete healing yet. Mostly because I have so many clerics that they just take care of everything. So we're gonna pull full few of these on the warrior right now while they buff up everybody else. Now once we get to the next island, the next island gets a lot harder because there are these pegasus and they split. So you kill one and it can split into two. And this keeps going on and on. <laughs> so it, it can get kind of hard, actually, really quick. And this uh, this level drops the uh, animal figurine, which becomes, I guess, the key of beasts. And we'll do... Uh, do that. I guess these things dispel, or I'm just out of buff slots. That becomes a serious issue. Because there's so many buffs, and not enough buff slots. It doesn't look like I can really shrink myself at this point. The, uh, I have two debuffs on me. Yeah, shadow my debuffs. Or necromancer, I'm not sure which. But once we kill everything on this island, we can uh, 
we do the same thing. We turn in the, uh, let's get this one. for necromancers. We only have one necromancer, so... Is it four? Yes, it is four. Alright, looks like we got everything around there. Let's check up this way. Oh, there's an eye. Let's go ahead and get him. I think these eyes dispel. They're like the ones in the plane of, uh... Spelled everything. And he slowed me. How much slow is that? Tepid deeds. Here, let's save that right down there. That way we can add that to the shamans and they will auto cure that. So I think that's going to be a common debuff for a little while. Everything got dispelled, so we're gonna have to uh, wait a few minutes to get some uh, buffs back. So I'll be right back while they rebuff, and I'm gonna add this spell to my debuff list. Alright, I realized if I let them uh, fully rebuff that uh, we're just gonna be wasting, uh, <laughs> wasting a lot of resources doing that, so I am. Uh, and almost every, all my ogres have the Amulet of Necromant, or Necropotence at this point. I've cleared fear, I don't know how many times, but that is uh, an instantaneous skeleton movement to shrink them. Uh, so, that is one of the better items in the game for that kind of thing. I think eventually I'll have enough for everyone, probably. They seem fairly common on the uh, three mini bosses in Point of Fear. Alright, we have, do we have journeyman boots? Yeah, alright, let's get this one. Uh, oh gosh, she's so slow and no buffs. But we need to go ahead and kill all this stuff because I'll we'll need to get uh, all our buffs up to the boss here in a few minutes. Yeah, all right. Let's go ahead and click on the boots. Gives us a little bit of run speed, but not much. I don't think there's anything else up here. Oh, there's a Gorgon over here. Let's go and grab that one. Oh god, he's fast. I'm stunned. I can't move. What? Oh 
Oh gosh, it just <laughs> destroyed me. All right. Um, yeah. That's crazy. I guess with no buffs, you get destroyed pretty quick. Uh, can we corpse drag? And then let's go ahead and pull this while we're up here. And corpse drop you. Uh, Resit. Alright. Oh gosh, we have three things on us. A gust of wind, crystal, and cloud. So let's get Saru on that one. Oh, I died. Uh, where's Saru? <laughs> this is going bad, someone else died. Someone else with audio died. So, one of the tanks. Come on, back. Oh, he's only an assist me group. This is the only And then, can we get. Oh, he's. No, he didn't have the right character. clouds. Alright, so let's do a visit on her. So I'm gonna be right back after I get a little bit more mana so they can uh, buff up. Alright, we had actually six deaths from all of that, so I'm gonna go ahead and grab this last, last one maybe. Alright, let's see if we can get it back before we get stunned again. Feared, son of a. Come on. And we're stunned. Uh, there, there we go. Jump. That was annoying. <laughs> All right. So I think we're down to the last. Last mob on the island. And then we will be on... This is Island 3. So we'll be on Island 4. Uh, yeah, let's double check before we attack that thing. So we should probably move everybody up so I don't have to try to pull it that far. There's an eye right here. Let's go ahead and grab that. It's gonna dispel the crap out of us. So we'll have to buff again. <laughs> I don't know the respawn timer on this this island, but hopefully it's more than 30 minutes. But we're almost done with this island. Let's see how far we can go. Alright, that thing is dead. Everybody follow me. Dead people at the moment. Let's go right here. Alright, so we're gonna met up, buff up, and we'll kill the boss. I believe it's the last thing on the island. Alright, we're back. We're gonna kill the heart harpy now. And I guess anything else that we missed on the island. I ran around, I didn't see anything, but there could be some invisible clouds that I did miss. So we're gonna go ahead and do this. We got, jeez, we got three red things on us. That's not fun. Uh, let's see if we can get Saru on that one. Book on that one. I'm like, or something. I don't know what's going on. There we go. Should probably get the eye down. Probably gonna wipe here. Let's see if I can get the 
is on. I don't think she can mez anything that's red, but worth a shot. It's a wipe. The lunatic, uh... Yeah. It's a wipe. Um... Uh, yeah. So if you attack anything when the lunatic is on the island, you, uh... You, uh, get killed. And... Let's see... If I can back off... And... Big death. All right, we can watch everybody die. There's no no way to get around that. I should have killed the uh, Gorgolosk last. Yeah. But uh, yeah. <laughs> This is going to be a tricky corpse retrieval. Uh, yeah. I'm trying to think of the best way to do this. Uh, I don't think, yeah, no cleric was looking out. Uh, I might be able to summon their corpses into guild hall. Let me see here. They're all bound over here. All right, well, I'm gonna try to see what I can do to retrieve the corpses and start over. Uh, I also need to do some uh, deep water night faction work for the Fiery Avenger video I'm working on. So I might do that because we're at the next island almost to do uh, the finish up the Fiery Avenger for the Paladin, so I'll be back. All right, we are back here with Isle 4 of Plane of Sky, and we are going to go ahead and start. Uh, come on. Provoke. I guess he is not playing with me today. Let's go get this thing over here then. So, we, uh, I kind of messed up. I should have, uh, since it was the first time, I couldn't have really been able to do the trick. But there is a trick for this island because the boss does not spawn until I think, a few hours into it. So, I need to get a tank on that one. So, you kind of like, once you have a key, you go up and you uh, kill one uh, mob from this island and then it lets the uh, starts the timer to spawn. What is this? A rogue belt, 21% haste. Probably not worth having. Uh, I think all my rogues have uh, rune banded belts from... Uh, rune bolster belts from uh, Fox this point but yeah so uh, there might be a delay once I clear everything on this island but as you can see these just split every time you kill one it splits and so and I think this is the ranger epic item I think I'll leave it for now and then uh do it later. All right. Luckily, everything here is indifferent, so it's not a. Uh, it wasn't terrible hard to get here. Uh, the paladin was able to come up and get to the window for the fiery avenger, which I completed just before this. That is in its own video. Uh, let's see if I can get two on that one, maybe. Uh, let's get everybody on this one. So 
long is this? There. Yeah. But, yeah, we'll clear this island. I think we can do this one. The boss of this island is the first one that'll start death touching. So that could be... That could be one of the issues we may run into. But... I have five tanks. That should be more than enough to uh, kill these mobs. There are only 32,000 hit points, so... It's not a terrible uh, health of the pine. 16% range of health. What does she have right now? Where is she? She has rubles to go. <laughs> I've killed a box quite a few times at this point. Alright. Symbol of Mar, what is that? Paladin necklace. I will loot that, I think. Uh Emily. That is I need 306. Is it better than this thing? 7, 15, yeah, it's definitely better. Less wisdom, but more armor. <laughs> Alright, so that was a few of those down. What is this? Essence Harvester? Can I get you? Oh gosh. I hate stuns. I make all ogres to avoid stun, but I get hit from behind. <laughs> Luckily that'll be a, a solvable problem in uh, things of power. We need to get a tank on that one. Drop the bard whistle, I mean bird whistle, which uh, I'm not sure what that one becomes. But I'm stuck in. Okay, so I'll do the off tanking and let them just kill it. At this point, they all have the same uh, weapons for the two main tanks. I'm using a uh, blood fire. Yeah. Blood fire and yak, I think. With the uh, gems from. Ooh, Blade of Admiration. That is Shadow Knight Epic. I'll just leave it for now. I can come back into this. This is a terribly difficult. I will need to do it anyway just to show you the uh, that video. Hopefully this doesn't split again. The cleric is out of mana for the main cleric. So I'm assuming all my clerics are out of mana. some mana. We're gonna go ahead and try to get the rest. I can't cast on you. Oh gosh. Stunned me with a nine second stun. Instant cast. Alright. Let's see if we can get back here before we get stunned again. So yeah, we're almost done clearing this island. We'll have to wait for like 45 minutes after the last mob to kill the boss, but it is what it is at this point. I may go clear the plane of fear by the way. But 
We'll just keep clearing this stuff for now. It's a bit built of tranquility. It's a monk belt. Uh, I think she has the holster belt also. I think that's worked out. I wish I could see which that one was targeting. But we're getting to the point where these mobs are going to be too hard for our current level. Uh, I, I really feel like this is tuned for Kunark level rating. Because we're going to hit a wall here about, if not this next island after this, Island 5, which is the Sp Sparrock Island. That's either going to be too hard or... The one after the, the B Island. Last time I did that, I had the same thing happen where the the boss we killed the boss and then it spawned the uh, Surin and he just like destroyed us. So that is definitely a possibility that'll happen again. But the keys are key ringable, so getting back here is just matter of just going to. Uh, the guild hall for, for me. makes it really, really fast to do a corpse retrieval. Uh, let's get you on that one. Yeah, but so that's that's pretty much how I did it last time. In the uh, the I only have to buy the single stone. And it lasts for like 24 hours until I change it again, so it's very, uh, very generous in that regard. Weight of the gods, what is that? Ooh! God of the cleric shoulders. 318. And, uh, what do you got on your shoulders? Do you have books? Is there another one here still? Those are like best in slot for a while, so let's go ahead and move those. So there's some good loot you can get while you're up here. Ace the shoulders from Guck. Huh. That's good. And then Gwen. So that was 317. Seventeen. Oh, show corpses. She is my designated looter, so she hides all the corpses right after she loots them. Let's go ahead and take one of these. Uh, let's just swap that out now. I can compare stats later. Uh, hide corpses. All right. How is mana? 50s? Alright, we're good for one, I think. I don't know if that one splits or not. I think it's for another quest. Cleared everything up here. Oh, there's another Eternal Spirit. Let's try this one here first, I guess. Got it. It might just smash us. <laughs> it's red, so I don't know what level it is. It's awful slow, though. Right, see everybody, some furniture exert this thing. All right, nah, he's he's melting. And he did 
did not split. Drop the essence of Gale though. I'm not sure what that's used for. But I don't need it right now. Alright, I think this is the last one. Eternal Spirit. I'll have to do a quick run around the island here in a second. But the difficulty really ramps up soon. <laughs> it's, it's relatively easy and then it gets like... Like everything hits for 300 really fast. And I think I only have like yeah, 4,000 hit points. And I think he's... Yeah, I made him some earrings. Those don't have to give me Yeah. Oh, shit. On that one. I didn't realize that one split. And the bird whistles becomes a aviac charm. So that is the next key. Got a soul tamer. Oh, we got another weight of gods. Nice. More, more mana is always welcome for a cleric. That enchanter almost bit it. Uh, yeah, she is taking hits. This being a little bit of mana regen. B22. That's belt we don't need. Let's swap this in. So this is 5 wisdom, 5 20, 25 magical resist, which is really nice. And 50 mana, so overall, pretty good upgrade. But the magic resist still. Hope I want to quit a bit when we get to Kunark. Alright. Let's get everybody meted up and I'll do a quick lap around the island before we check to make sure we, we have to wait for quite a while. That's the windmill for the Fiery Avenger. Nothing over here. Nothing. over here either okay so we just have to wait for what is this protector of sky no keeper of souls keeper of souls is what we're waiting on and he death touches so I'm just gonna probably just wait here take a little break but I'll be back when he spawns and we can go ahead and kill him all right <laughs> so I was sitting here waiting for uh, this thing to spawn and it spawned. This is my second clearing. I missed him the first time. So, uh, yeah, so he death touches every, I think, 30 seconds, according to the uh, wiki page. So, yeah, he killed my tank as soon as he spawned. <laughs> and I'm, I'm pretty far away. He spawned over here ish. So, I thought I was far enough away. But I guess not. It looks like we're going to kill him without much issue. Oh, we lost three tanks now. All right, who's tanking it now? The ranger. Oh, that's not good. Who am I on? Why are you not talking? Yeah, you're talking. Uh, this 
spells. Oh, I didn't buy Provoke on this guy. Oh. It's not even attack. Alright, it's dead. Alright, perfect. Awesome. Okay. Jeez. What did he drop? Let's see, drop the black silk cape. A bra bracelet of uh, quin quinescence. And uh, shadow knight belt. Pretty cool. So, I'm going to do some corpse retrieval and we'll teleport up to island 5. I'll be right back. All right. We are uh, still on island 4. I've been just waiting for mana for the last uh, few minutes. Looks like we're good to go. So this is the first island you pretty much have to quote unquote break, <laughs> like the plane of fear. So we could uh, we could get smashed really fast. Uh, I think if this is the island we're gonna spawn to. This is it. We're gonna spawn in right here. We're gonna try to move like over here. There's a uh, I think three or four little huts right here. Let's see if I can do that a little bit. Yeah, three or four little, and they have birds. They Sparox from uh, South Karana and places like that. All around in here. And uh, they come in groups of three or four. And they can be pretty vicious. <laughs> so we're going to spawn here, and we're going to try to get to right here. Uh, I think I've given everybody the key at this point. Uh, hopefully, if not, they'll have to wait until uh, whoever made it breaks the camp. So I'm gonna go ahead and click up and see if, see what happens. Let's zoom out. I can see who didn't make it. All right, so everybody's here. We're gonna go right there. All right. Looks like. Only one person didn't make it. All right, so where are we? Get oriented here. Yeah, looks like seriously didn't make it. We're gonna come up over here, and we're gonna pull the right, right. Oh, oh gosh. All right. They didn't fall out of the sky, did they? No, okay. So we're gonna follow off right here and go ahead and start pulling. Actually, let me give her this key. Go ahead and get her up here. This is the avian key. I think I'm gonna go to steer C. Give item two oh nine fifteen. Oh gosh, it's so hard to find a specific character sometimes. Yeah, go. Yeah, she didn't have that one. So we'll click that. Now let's go ahead and run her up there. Just so we have everybody. I'm I'm giving them all the keys anyway, so not a big deal. And we can go ahead and start uh, start this process. Where is my monk? All right, let's pull this this guy. All right, we got one guy coming in, two guys. So let's get everybody on that. Get sorted on now. Oh, and then everybody needs to smash. Uh, thank you. Sure. Vanquishers have to die first. Everybody on the Vanquisher. Emily on the Arbiter. Uh, Rook on that. blind is <laughs> not fun. Alright, we have another vanquisher. Or it's the same one, I'm not sure. Uh, 
Saru on that one. Just gotta get this vanquisher down. Right, let's get the collar down. Let's get Rook on that one. Saru on that one. I need to get. I do have an Iraqi. E I was gonna say I need an Iraqi, e so the Shadow Knight will actually do some work, but looks like he's good. And we got one more. How was mana after that? Actually not that good. Oh, we got another collar. Add. It's mezzed, so that's good. I can't see on this character. What about you? Okay. Let's get the collar. I'm not sure how far I'll be able to get through uh, the plane of air. Um, this might be the last island. I think this next one, just the, the difficulty starts ramping up, is really what it is. And we're still level 50, so... Um, most, of these, most of these islands are usually done for the epics, but... I, I don't know, I was reading on progression forums, that, like, guilds of 80 wipe on this stuff, on the progression stuff, unless they have, like, 25 mage pets or something ridiculous number like that so I'm I'm not exactly confident we're gonna get past this island uh, see if I can poke my head over here without dying there's a guy yeah this guy right here Sparrock Lord he death touches and he drops the warrior epic item so we're gonna have to come back and kill this guy anyway but Ah, uh, we don't know. <laughs> I don't know right now. So we're gonna try. He's not even the boss of the island. He instant respawns, so you gotta like pull him over, over here, before he uh, respawns. And the boss is over here somewhere. And you once you kill the boss, nothing respawns. So. Yeah. So I'm gonna met up for a few minutes, and I'll be right back. All right, we got a few more. Just gotta make sure I get somebody on each of these. And then, I think everybody's assigned. But yeah, so we're gonna, the uh, Spiro Guardian is over there. That's the boss of the island. So once we kill him, the Lord will not respawn. So that'll be uh, interesting. I'm sort of crappy. <laughs> I've noticed that there's a lot of common items that drop that are not that great. Uh, Saru? Oh, shoot. Son of a gun. Come on. Um, there's somebody else. Alright. on that. Look on that. Ah. You get on that one. Banisher is on somebody and then Arbiter needs a tank, Saru, get that thing. I've noticed that the Enchanter can mez some things, at least on the other island. On the Pegasus Island there was some uh, griffin looking things that they just four more. Just keep coming in. Alright, Saru. Emily, look. Every time I, uh, I gotta need to make a all but it's all the tanks assist button. Good. Yeah, that on this one. Thought I need that back row. Uh, here, get that one. Or assist me all. Saru. So, uh, Assist me group, smaller group. Must be on my other 
I have another monk name called Solo, and he probably has the profile with the button that I made. I, use, I usually pull with him, but I made a human one this time. I named him different. Gosh, they just auto pull, I guess. I remember it like this. Uh, we only have one. Where looks like a out of panic for clicks. Yes, we are. So this is gonna have to meddle again. Jeez. All right. Everybody, move to me. And I'm gonna met up again. I'll be right back. So we pulled again. We got four of them. I'm blind. Uh, I think we got people on everything. Uh, let's go. We got that one going. Let's get through on that one and work on that. So I I noticed I need to next time I go to town. I need to get Rook his books. It's all his discipline stuff that I haven't done. And I think I need to give him a one-hander because I'm going to start needing more tanks, I believe. Right now, I think he's using a uh, heat uh, two-hander that we got right now. I don't know why uh, I do just like stand it over there for some reason. What is wrong with him? Okay. Oh. Shit, two more. Right, everybody get that one. You get that one. You get that one. Right. I'll put both this one. Come on. People are not attacking. Screw on that one. Look on that one. So there was, I think, seven more to go. So I think we're almost done. I think there's one more Vanquish. And then uh, we can go and try to try to kill the Lord. Spur up Lord. Uh, honestly, I'm going to try to kill him more than once. <laughs> so I can get the, uh, the Warrior Epic item. Just go ahead and get it now. So I'm going to do the warrior epic first when I'm a monk Kunark. Shortly after I decide if I can go any further in playing a sky. So, how is mana? Jeez, that was the wrong button. Mana cleric. 14. Yeah, alright. So, we're going to met up again. And uh, hopefully, one or two more. It looks like there's one guy two guys over there so we'll get them and there's another guy up there so we'll uh, grab them and uh, oh, we have a dead cleric I did not see go ahead and res her is there anybody else dead no yeah. so they're gonna res her and we'll met up again and do some more killing be right back all right so there was a vanquisher over there that I pulled, but I forgot to hit record, so we killed off everything else. The uh, guardian, which is the island boss, is over there, and then this guy is right here. So This guy death touches, so we're going to pull him with... who should we use? Let's do the enchanter. Uh, everybody should be full mana at this point. So this is going to be tricky. Move them closer. What I'm going to do is uh, tash it with the enchanter and then use the warrior to provoke it. And that should get it back in can. <laughs> I really need to get like a ranged item for uh, this guy. But whatever. Can I just click it? There we go. Alright, she's dead. Um, why is he not provoking? Alright, get him over here. Alright. 
someone else took aggro, a ranger, for <laughs> some unknown reason. Uh, now a bard took aggro. Alright, I have aggro again. Oh, good, the rogue took the uh, death tap touch. So we're good to go there. And uh, typically if you're doing this in a uh, real raid, you have like a... You have the guy who's taking the death touches kind of like taunt it at the around the right time and <laughs> that's at least how I did it on uh, Agnar but so he do that yeah so he took the death touch that time who is tanking now I don't know who is tanking Wilson that is not right you give it to me So, and then he instantly respawns over there. And he dropped Blade of Aberration, which is the Shadow Knight epic item, and a finely woven. That is the crappiest item I've ever seen. So, yeah, uh, let's go ahead and get him resed up. She consent. She not consent. Consent guild. I have no idea why that's not on. I'm consenting. Probably some kind of ins inconsistent setting. Alright, so I'm gonna go ahead and do a uh, corpse retrieval and res up, res up, and we'll kill him. Kill him again, I think. Alrighty. We finally have mana, so we're gonna pull him at least one more time. Let's see how this goes. And then we will just kill the guardian and progress. Uh, where is my spell? There it is. All right, she's. All right, she's dead. And I got it. Get him back here. One, two, three, four. All right. That should be enough for me to hold on to. He has uh, the blood fire from uh, Plane of Fear and a uh, yak. Jeez, he took the death touch. Saru picked. Not pick up back though. Or did he? His aggro meter is bugged, it looks like. But yeah, so we're gonna try this and I just really wanna unlock Kunark really at this point. I just got his for two hundred. And we got look. He does not have any kind of aggro abilities. Can't believe a wizard is tanking him. <laughs> Whatever. But yeah, gonna do a. I'm gonna do a video, like an intro to Kunark. Just pop around my GM character and uh, show like all the different uh, dungeons and everything, and then. Uh, I'm probably going to level most of my characters in uh, Sebelus. Is it? And. And then. I might run through Howling Stones with a group, but I'm also going to level up another group. A uh, mostly Iskar, uh, Iskar group. I need uh, I need another necromancer, and I need a uh, I want another monk for more damage, and I think I'm adding another warrior, which after this I realize probably good. I should probably actually just get rid of the Shadow Knight 
and uh, add another warrior that way, but yeah, I think I'll keep the Shadow Knight around for just a little while longer. Ooh, that's a nice belt. Uh, no, it's not better than this, but yeah. So I'm going to let them met up. It's going to be a few minutes. And then we'll go over and to the other side of the island and kill the guardian. And then we're going to have to kill him one more time. And then he won't respawn after that. If that makes, uh, makes sense how this island is kind of weird. And then I think the next island is the B island, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, so the next island is pretty hard. Uh, I'm pretty sure we won't get past that one. But I'm going to try anyway. Uh, Alright, we're going to go ahead and pull the Guardian. He does, I don't think this one death touches, so it should be a lot easier. Oh, shoot. Alright, what do I got going here? I'm pretty far away. I can't see a thing. Alright. Who is tanking it now? Well, it's dead. <laughs> so let's see if we got anybody without. All right, what did drop? Anything useful? Just quest items. Uh, I think I can loot that for the necromancer. I uh, I started doing jewel crafting on my. Which one was that? Wooden bands? No. City and amulet? Oh, it's a necklace. She doesn't have anything. I started doing uh, jewel crafting on my uh, enchanter, and then I just like got totally annoyed. Like the a lot of repetitive, uh, you know, building everything. It's just very repetitive. There's a macro quest macro to kind of automate part of it, but it's just so annoying. So, I kind of kind of stopped working on that. I did, uh, I made earrings, blue diamond earrings for this guy and I think the other warriors. Just to kind of get their resists up a little bit. But it doesn't really uh, matter too much. I think when Velos, when I unlock Velos, I'll probably do the 65 HP rings for almost everybody. I made a few of the 55 HP rings right here. Yeah, these platinum ones, but, uh, the, I don't know, what is this ring? I got this in Soul A a long time ago. Obviously out of error, but, uh, <laughs> I'm just gonna use it. It's, uh, lots of armor, so. And then the Efridi ring. But looks like he actually has a blade now. So we're going to try him again. How is mana? Mana is great. Let's get you to the right spot. And let's get you right behind her. And you have the thing targeted. All right, so let's pull him one more time. Uh, is she close enough? And grab it. So he will not respawn after we kill uh, kill him this time. Uh, I sent them into her. The tanks got him. But yeah, hopefully uh, <laughs> the paladin or the other warriors take the death touch this time. It's like uh, it's going to be ooh probably Saru. That's my bet right now. Yep, Saru took it. I'm tanking now. And then, let's go ahead. Uh, yeah, I'll let, take the death touch. And then we'll switch to Rook. 
and then we'll taunt it. Ah, oh, the taunt failed. I'm gonna try to taunt it before. Oh, didn't work. Emily has it now. She was getting killed massively on Island 3. She was pulling aggro because she was doing so much more damage. It was kind of funny. Alright, we got one blade and dove slippers. What are these? Those look absolutely horrible. Three, two. I'm sure they're quest items. Yeah, they're, they're not any better. Alright. Let's go. Yeah, you can res. Alright. Beard. Res it. Saru. Res it. Uh, who else died? Too far away. Yeah, so he didn't respawn. So I'm going to finish up the corpse retreat and we'll go up to the next island and we'll see where we're at from there. I'll be right back. Alright, we are meted up and ready to go. <laughs> I'm pretty sure this is going to be the, uh, the end of the show right here. If we uh, wipe, we're just gonna do corpse retrieval and uh, unlock Kunark, I think. We'll see how it goes though first. Alright, let's click it. Hopefully everybody has the key now. Oh. Alright, got bugs everywhere. Uh, Saru on that one. Uh, we already lost the cleric. So typically you're supposed to... Uh, yeah, not everybody got up here either. Uh, well, everybody but Tozar and her, so... Typically you're supposed to, uh... What is that? Use, uh... Yeah, uh, uh, you're supposed to kite stuff around and kill one at a time, but... Yeah. Let's see how this goes. I have no idea who's tanking the other one. Looks like Rook, probably, since he's in a group's frenzy. But I think he's split, so yeah, we got more. <laughs> so it's just gonna be a complete death show. Uh, Emily on that one? Yeah, Saru died. And I just don't think it's... I only have 36. I think it's probably scaled for like 54 raid members with... Uh, yeah, I'm about to die. <laughs> Uh, is Rook alive? Yeah. So let's go ahead. Yeah, I think it's scaled to like 54 raid members with uh, probably being level 60, honestly. Yeah, we're all we're all gonna die right here. So that's as far as I can get in the plane of sky with uh, my current configurations. Uh, one. Oh, he's dead. Who is alive? There. Uh, Taryard. Go to. Fly mode on. And let's take a look at this. Yeah. Everybody. Let's turn off the UI so we can see their corpses. Everybody has died. <laughs> And the split just makes it even more difficult. And that is that's something you can easily handle later on when you have the ability to, uh, to go defensive and whatnot. But, uh, what the heck is that? Why is she running over there? That's funny. I'll have to uh, figure that out. But, yeah, when you have defensive and you have uh, a full... Uh, No idea why they're running a full uh, raid force, you know, of a large, you know, larger scale. It's uh, it's much, much easier, I suppose. But uh, I think we're gonna go ahead and call this here. We'll call this uh, Plain of Sky Part One. <laughs> uh, part Two will come at the end of, towards the end of Kunark when we uh, start working on the epic quests for uh, Ranger, Necromancer, Mage. 
warrior. Uh, I think I did get the uh, Spurrock blade for for one warrior from that last uh, kill. But by then we'll be 60 for everybody. We'll have another group, so we'll have a little bit more tanking ability and we'll have more uh, DPS. But yeah, thank you for watching and have a great day.